Have you ever been so overwhelmed by a huge list of briefs that you've had to memorize and didn't even know where to begin? Well, I'm excited to talk about the pyramid method today because I think you'll benefit from this method to memorize those briefs. And I'll give you examples of how you can incorporate this method into your practice routine. So let's get right into it. Hey everyone, welcome back to my stenohood. If you're new here, my name is Edna. And in this channel, we talk about all things steno, including tips for students, as well as my journey as a court reporting student. So if you're interested in content like this, please consider subscribing. Okay, so today we're talking about pyramids. What are pyramids? How can I use pyramids in my practice routine? And what's the most efficient way to use pyramids? Okay, so you may or may not have heard of pyramids before, but let me explain. A pyramid is a technique that helps you remember words using a unique form of repetition. So the shape of a pyramid indicates that there's one item at the top and it's increased by one as you continue the process. In steno, this technique is a great way to practice and master words. Now that we know what a pyramid is, let's grab a list of words and show you how to pyramid. As you can see in this image, we have a pyramid. There's one word at the top, and on the left side, you could see the list of words that we're gonna be using. And essentially, this is the pattern that you're gonna be using when practicing a pyramid. The first word is arbitrate. So you write that word, and then for your second stroke, you're gonna write arbitrate again, and then add a new word, which is convict. So again, you start off with arbitrate, then you do arbitrate, convict, then arbitrate, convict, credibility. Arbitrate, convict, credibility, element. Arbitrate, convict, credibility, element, national. And you can repeat this process as many times as you need to, depending on the amount of words that you're using. So in this example, we're just using five words, but you can definitely use more words than that. Depending on how many words you're using, that's how long it's going to take you to complete one cycle and you can do as many cycles as you need to or until you feel like you've mastered these words. Okay, so how can you plug in the pyramid method into your practice routine? It's the pyramid method at the beginning of your practice session just to get your fingers moving. I also think it's great to use this when you're practicing numbers, states, briefs, hesitation words, and sentences. You can use the pyramid method to practice all of the words in the sentence. And it would go something like this. Please, please respond. Please respond with. Please respond with this. Please respond with this information. Please respond with this information as. Please respond with this information as soon. Please respond with this information as soon as. Please respond with this information as soon as possible. I also think it's great to use this with the 5S system, which is practicing five words for five minutes for five days. And when you're practicing those five words, you're gonna use the pyramid method. And lastly, I would say just plug this in anywhere where you have five minutes. So you can use the pyramid method, just grab five words and just practice that for five minutes. Anytime you have like five minutes to spare between dictation or between classes, uh, you can use the pyramid method here. What's the most efficient way to use pyramids? Here's my tip. If you have a huge list of words that you're trying to master, break it down chunks at a time. 
The reason behind this is that the shorter your list is, the more you're going to practice those words. The more those words are going to come up in your cycles. So try to keep the list as short as possible and I would definitely say between 5 and 10 words. And if you're practicing sentences, I would say stick to one to two sentences for five minutes. So practice the pyramid method with your sentences within those five minutes, but don't do more than two sentences at a time. Again, the whole point here is repetition. So you want to make sure you're repeating these words a lot of times. And the shorter the list or the shorter the sentences, the more you're going to repeat the words. I was lucky enough to learn about the pyramid method a long time ago. And that's why I'm always surprised when I find out that students don't know what pyramids are. That's why I wanted to make this video today, explaining what pyramids are, because I love this method, and I really hope that it helps you just as much. So the next time you get a huge list of briefs, you'll know exactly how to master them, one chunk at a time. Please let me know in the comments below if you've used the pyramids before, and what do you think about them? Or let me know if you're going to give them a try and let me know how that works out. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.